Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Tactical Chaos. Welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing something that I've gotten a lot of requests over the last few months from the community to do. We are going to be going over how to install the pre-September 20th patch forge files for Ghost Recon Breakpoint so you can mod it. Now, what this does is it bypasses the whole Battle Eye folder situation that everybody's having trouble with. And it'll get you into the game with your mods so you don't crash. And this is how you want to, this is where you got to start if you want to start modding Breakpoint. So what we're going to do right now is you're going to go over to Nexus and you're going to download pre-September 20th patch forge files. And then once you got that, download that real quick, of course. Then go to your Anvil toolkit. Now this is all assuming that you guys already have Anvil and everything all set up and you guys just can't. Get in with your mods because of the battle life folder right so that's what this video is for is to show you what you need to do to bypass that situation don't worry about battle life folder it is not there no more you don't need it no more so what you're going to do first is if you do have an extracted folder right here make sure you delete that extracted folder it would be right here in this area i don't have one i already deleted mine so delete that extracted folder and then we're going to go just right click on any one of these things open containing folder what this is going to do is open your ghost recon breakpoint directory let me make it a little bit bigger for you guys sorry it might be just a little bit hard to see i'm sorry about that i'll explain to you guys exactly where i'm at i made that um icons really big so hopefully you guys can see just a little bit so what we're going to do is we are going to look for uh data pc patch 01 forge files and let me go right over here data pc patch that's data pc forge data pc patch for um uh, dx11 forge data pc extra data pc extra patch 01 forge where the fuck is data pc patch 01 forge oh it's right here all right so once you find this one you're gonna delete that and then you're going to delete data PC resources patch 01 forge. I'll repeat that data PC resources patch 01 forge. Delete that too. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and put this back into the regular view list because this is way easier for me to mod this way. All right. I just wanted to show you guys where the files are that you needed to delete. So now next we're going to go over here. This is the mods that we downloaded. Pre-patch forge files. You can see you got data PC patch 01 forge and data PC patch um, resources 01 forge. The same ones you deleted. So first after you delete those files, refresh your, your directory and close it. Uh, or don't close it down. I'm sorry. Do not close it down. After you refresh it, take these two files, highlight them, and drop them in here. Once you drop those in there, refresh this again and close it down. So that was the directory. Once you drop those in there, you refresh it and close it down. And then come over here and find your data PC patch 01 forge in your Anvil toolkit. It'll be right here. Unpack it. Once you unpack it, you'll see right up here it says find existing backup, uh, deserializing writing files, successfully read forge files, cool, refresh, back out, back out and it will have created an extracted folder. Now you're gonna to wanna to do the same thing with data PC patch resources 01 forge. You're gonna unpack. Alright, refresh. 
You're right, because we're not installing any other mods right now. We're just installing these files so that way we can install mods later. All right, those two are packed up. Back that out. And now when you open your extracted folder, you got data PC patch 01 forge and data PC resources patch 01 forge in there. Now that's your extracted folder. You're all good with that. And now if you want to mod, you can mod. All you got to do is I have other guides on how to install specific mods. And if you guys have any, um, I mean, you get also in Nexus has instructions. Sometimes the instructions are really vague. Once you get the hang of learning how to mod this game, it actually becomes pretty easy. But um, it is really complicated at first. I will say that, guys. It did take me quite a while to learn how to mod this game. The slightest little mistake, little bullshit, not packing a file, not refreshing it in your directory, not refreshing it in your anvil. Not All right. So, did you extract the folders? You repack them. But because I haven't put no mods in it, it's probably not going to... Uh, oh, that one was repacked successfully. And that one was... Uh, that's new by that was saying that, but... Alright. We will make sure that we are loading into Breakpoint now. And I'm all good. So I already have a bunch of mods installed, as you guys can see. And the game plays a million times better with mods, for sure. You can make your character exactly the way you've always wanted it. Your ghost could look like a real military operator instead of a booty ass Ubisoft mess up, man. Because Ubisoft just can't get what we want done right. So, you know, thank God for the modders and everybody that's put this stuff together. Big shout out to them, dude. Really, really appreciate your guys' hard work. For real, it's awesome, dude. And um, to everybody that watches this video, if you guys found it helpful... You know, a like rating would be much appreciated, and uh, if you guys do enjoy the video on the channel, hit that sub button and, you know, join us over here, Tactical Chaos Gaming. Thank you guys for watching. Also, if you need any help, or if I did anything that you, um, that might have messed something up that you feel, if you need me to recorrect that, go ahead and message me on the video, and I will do everything in my power to try and fix it for you, because, uh, you know, that's why I'm making this video, is to try and help you guys. Thanks for watching, everybody.